Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This video is about the Ferrocchino Trestle Bridge and this is located just south of Foxton. Foxton's in the Manawatu or Manawatu Horafanoa area. So this is between Levin and Foxton. It's about 120 kilometers, maybe 110 kilometers from Wellington City. Uh, so this is the uh, a project that is to uh, improve uh, the highways uh, around the nation. So this is on State Highway 1. This is on the main road that goes between Wellington and Auckland. Um, I, I took a walk down this cycle lane. This is a, the cycle way here, which is a bypass to the bridge. This bridge is so narrow that it's quite dangerous to ride over for cyclists. Uh, and cyclists would only normally ride their bikes over the bridge um, if this area is flooded. The, you can see in some of these images that the bridge is a little bit broken. It's been there since 1938 and it's made out of concrete uh, with reinforcing steel in it. Um, I first noticed this project uh, getting underway kind of in maybe December last year, so in 2017, and this video was taken uh, about the 10th of January 2018, somewhere around there. Um, just went for a drive around in the country and I wanted to take a look at see how far the uh, bridge project had progressed. Uh, it hasn't really gone really very far, but I think it's just a slow project that's taking its time. So you can see how this is very low lying. There's even some swans uh, living in the pond there. Uh, the Manawatu River runs under an adjacent bridge to this on the other side of a flood control bank. And this farm is in an area which will overflow uh, with flooding and big storms. So if there's a huge rain event um, further up the Manawatu River, uh, this area will flood, uh, which stops the uh, houses and towns nearby from flooding uh, allows the water to expand out because the area is really flat and low-lying it drains quite slowly so it's pretty common um, in a big a big kind of winter storm or um, you know if there's several days of rain in a row that these farms will flood and the uh, the farmers will move their cattle out of the way and you can see here some of the reinforcing for the new uh, the new bridge piles trestles and uh, the cranes and equipment. Uh, the area I went in is just along the cycle lane, not actually in the construction site itself. I took, I took these pictures. You can see that the construction site is actually quite well posted. Um, yeah, just I just got lots of little snapshots of everything that I saw along the way, but I was just interested in seeing the cranes and seeing if anything was actually in place. Some of the um, reinforcing steel's been stood up and the probably uh, uh, I'm not sure if any of the concrete's done. I could see some forms that go around where the trestles will be. So this is at the north end looking south in this view. So the, the bridge is, I don't know, maybe more than a kilometre long. It's quite a, quite a long narrow bridge and it's quite uh, I don't know, for some people it's a little bit scary to drive across the bridge because it is very narrow That's only got just a you know a car with the lane in each direction. If if you're driving the opposite way and a real really large truck is driving the other way, it, it can be quite intimidating. Got lots of uh, safety and control. And there's actually this information that I found at the other end when when I drove to the other end. And uh, yeah, so I hope this um hope this in the video interests you. Uh, the you see that the traffic is it was pretty, uh, pretty big. I think it was uh, Sunday afternoon. I was trying to remember if it was a Monday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon. I think Sunday afternoon uh, in the summer. So a lot of traffic around. A lot of people go to the river or the beach, go out of town uh, for the weekend. And again, it's during our Christmas summer holidays in New Zealand. This is what the what the bridge looks like underneath. I thought it would be interesting to just have some documentary footage of the state of the bridge. Is a conduit where um, some, I think, communication networks go over the bridge. So you can just sort of see that the project is underway. Not too much has been done. They've spent a lot of time setting up for it. They've built a temporary bridge at the southern end of uh, the bridge, which is a 
temporary bridge going over that actual Manawatu River. Uh, so I was walking back, I thought it would be interesting to take a pictures of just the plants that were living in the area so that people can see what the wildlife is uh, around here. Again, all of these projects, when we do these in New Zealand, there's quite a lot of effort taken to make sure that uh, residue from the construction doesn't end up in the waterways. We want to keep the waterways uh, you know, clean and safe as much as we can. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. It'd be really awesome if I could get up to a thousand subscribers for my channel because then I can have my videos remonetized. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, stand by for another video next time I'm out and about. Cheers.